Not only do text views give us a predictably wide range of control in terms of how they look, they're also designed to work seamlessly alongside core Apple technologies such as dynamic type. By default, a text view has a body dynamic type style, but you can select from other sizes and weights by calling dot .font like this. Dot .font large title. We now have two modifiers below our text view, and that's okay. You can just stack them up, and they all take effect. In particular, now that we have multiple lines, you'll want to adjust their text alignment so the lines are centered, like this. Dot multi-line text alignment dot center. We can control the color of text using the dot foreground color modifier, like this. Dot foreground color, color dot red. You can also set the background color, but that uses dot background because it's possible to use more advanced backgrounds than just a flat color. Anyway, to give our layout a yellow background color, we would add this. Dot background, color dot yellow. There are even more options. For example, we could adjust the way line spacing looks in our text. The default value is zero, which means there's no extra line spacing applied, but you can also specify position values to add extra spacing between lines. Dot line spacing, 50. 